three, two, one. Hey guys, Alpskin here, and I'm with our friend Lynx. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about, or reviewing, Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, yes, William sir. and I saw this two different ways, I think. He yeah. watched it on HBO Max, I watched it in theaters. I had to get myself some popcorn. Yeah. Right, so... We, basically, I mean, we this have is very be a similar... spoiler review. Oh, sorry, you're gonna go into that stuff, my bad. Yeah. This is gonna be a spoiler review, and um, we're gonna give our initial, like, rating, and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit. We're also going no holds bar, no holding back, giving our completely <laughs> honest opinion. Alright, so we have... Like William was going to say, we have a pretty similar opinion on this. Except for, like, mm -hmm. two things. I Except think. for a few things. Yeah. Um, but we haven't talked about it too much. We've just, um, just a little. Yeah. Alright, so, I feel like initially, as we always <laughs> do, we're gonna give our out of 10 score. I'm, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a 6. I'm gonna give it a six. You're gonna give it a six? I'm gonna give it a six. I'm yeah. gonna give it a five. So, the reason why I give it a six is because to be. Okay, so I'm gonna go through my thing first and then you could give your reasons why. But my, my reasons for giving it a six is. I mean, all the actors did a good job. The, everything yes, about the movie was, like, like, good, I would say, except for the plot. The plot ruined um. the movie. <laughs> I'm gonna disagree with you on all the actors. I don't think. Well, not all. Well, good job. Cheetah, Cheetah's um, actor is a little bit iffy, but. Yes, that's what I. I disagree. Yeah, so I agree with you on that. The Cheetah actor was not my favorite, but um, Chris Pine, Gal Gadot, and Pedro Pascal did a really good job. I I can't yeah. fault them in any way. Uh, it's just the plot was really bad, which I was really, really surprised bad. because. Jeff Johns helped write the plot which if you don't know I'm pretty sure he helped write the plot um, if you don't know he is a writer for DC and I always thought he was a good writer but well not a good um, movie writer I guess not yeah I th the plot was just so bad is so bad. It, it was a really bad plot. Um, you should just watch the movie if you don't have anything. It's else also to a do. long movie. It is. It's two hours and like but thirty if, minutes. That is true. But if you do have the ability to go to the theaters, whatever state you're in, I do not think you should pay to go watch it at the theaters. Yeah. Oh, I would agree with that. I mean, we got um, me and my family got HBO Max for like just a month, uh, cause my mom really wanted to see this movie, and then it actually worked out cause they would watch uh, Young Justice season three actually, so, cause that's on HBO Max, so it was that's it was awesome. worth it. It's worth the fifteen bucks. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah. Okay, so are we going to get into the positive and negatives of this movie? Yeah, so the, the positives, uh, like we've kind of said, is the actors, except for, for Cheetah. Um, Pedro Pascal, I actually like Pedro Pascal's character. Um, He's a really good actor in general, though, like when whatever he does. Yeah. I think at least. Or the most of the things he does, I can't say whatever he does. Um. I mean, Chris Pine, I, I liked his character. I mean, the movie the movie definitely felt worse when his character left the movie. Yeah, I mean, I guess it fit with the bad plot. But there wasn't really a... Like, with, with the plot for the movie, he, his character, I guess, deserved to be there, but... Yeah, so... We'll get into this once. Actually, no, I'll say it now. I feel like a lot of the plot was made to bring him back because he was such a fan favorite. That's Steve Trevor, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think 
Yeah, no, I, I don't know if it was... I think they wanted to have him back also, though. Well, um, if okay, you, you want to go so, through, like, each actor, I guess. We already kind of already started doing that, but... I will... I don't know if this is necessarily a positive, but I feel like they did capture the 80s era with the Cold War. Personally, not my favorite. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, man. The 80s in the movie... I mean, it was. It didn't, it didn't really focus on the '80s at all. They're like, "Oh, here's five minutes of B-roll for for the '80s," and the rest of it is like, "Oh, a terrorist wants nukes. Oh, America wants I more mean, nukes." The Cold War is just kind of weird, though. You know? Yeah. I feel like one thing that I, I noticed is they pretty much like forgot about. Uh, one woman told all her old powers and then just like introduce like three new ones in this movie yeah one positive the invisible jet I was really excited to see that it doesn't I mean was, they ruined it though was, they ruined it though Lincoln was, I'm sorry I know but the, the way that happened is just really weird like she had the power to make things invisible well, yeah, they added, oh, like, no, no. she she can just fly now, you know? She can uh, make stuff invisible, okay? And I forgot what else. There's, like, a third power that they gave her in the movie. Like, they gave her three new powers that she learned in the movie. And it's just weird, because they kind of ignored her previous powers. And then we're just like, oh, here's, here's all the new ones. Okay, so... Did she even I've fly a... in Batman v Superman? No, she couldn't fly. So, I, the whole... I guess we're gonna get into the negatives. Um, oh, there's a lot of negatives in this I movie. I mean, I kinda but, already um, was, I guess. Yeah. So... The plot... One thing that I felt happened was there was a lot of subplots that... were going on that really just didn't fit in. If that makes any sense. Well, like uh, Pedro Pascal's kid. No, like the Wonder Woman trying to learn to fly. Like they they touched on it. They're like, "Oh, Steve Trevor, your gift is flying, or whatever." I mean, and... I didn't. Yeah, th th they just wanted to make her fly, but like there wasn't really. Yeah, a... which I felt like could have been a bigger build up. Like, also could have been facing someone that was really a lot stronger than her. Yeah, let me and then tell he's you. Like, well, the only way I can beat him is flying or whatever. There, there's, there's two things also. The first thing is like literally, there's no action for like the first half of the movie. Like literally, the first half of the movie, there's, there's like really no fighting at all. And yeah, it, that is true. And it's like, like literally, I, I, uh, halfway through the movie, my parents were like. How much time is left in this movie? Where's the action? <laughs> and then we see yeah. it, there's like an hour left. We're like, what? How is there no action yet? Because this... Okay, so... It, that's just bad. Also, did they make her faster in this movie? Um... Because they made her no way faster, I think. Because if I remember right, she wasn't running past people in slow motion in the first one, was she? She kind of was. Remember the fight scene where she, like takes out the whole like building I I don't know well that one was really cool but um I don't know I feel like oh it wasn't a cohesive plot there was just too many subplots with Maxwell Lord which he was Cosgrove Pascal he was very um he played that role very well I thought um he made you kind of like buy into his character a little bit but I didn't like his character that much. I didn't like all the things they did with his character, but I liked him playing the character, if that makes any sense. I mean, I felt, I felt bad for him, like, at the end. Yeah. I did feel bad for him, too, because, like, you felt sympathetic for him. That's, like, the good acting on Pedro Pascal's part. I don't think the character is written the best. Well, like, for example, the Dreamstone was part of him, and he kind of lost his life force as he gave away stuff. I don't even know. Yeah, what it was... It was just really weird, and then there was... 
I did the whole concept was, you know, uh, you make a wish, you lose the second or like the most important thing in your life, right? And so, yeah. what did he lose? I don't know. Because he what? made that first wish and he became the Dreamstone, but like, what did he lose though? I have no idea what he lost. And I was like, oh, is he going to lose every his time, son? But every time he was losing his like life though, like part of himself, like he was getting sicker and sicker. Let's talk a little bit about the Dreamstone, because I really did not like this at all. I think it made the movie terrible. Um, yeah. I understood where they were kind of going with it, but I, I don't know why you would ever do that. It was just a dumb idea. So, basically, the Dreamstone grants any wish but takes away the thing you most care about. First of all, it didn't even take away people's stuff that they care about the most, right? Yeah. It had, like, adverse effects. Depending on who you were. So it wasn't consistent within that sense. Right? Like you were talking about. There was really uh, some funny scenes, though, uh, in the movie. With involving the dream stuff. But, like, let me. Um, like, the instance was, like, when that lady in the diner said, like, she wanted all the. Irish people to be deported. Yeah, no, it, really, the the. And I, I have to be perfectly honest here. At the very end, the ending does not make sense in the movie. It did not make sense. Um, literally, also, they never talk about this at any point in any of the movies that take place in the future of this. No one forgets it. Like no one wished or anything for everyone to forget or anything. They just don't talk about this. The whole world was there was this whole wish thing going on. Like, what? Yeah, and it's just kind of forgotten. That also, is, human beings, there's not, there's some human beings who will not relinquish their wish, no matter how much you, like, you, there's, like, let me tell you. Most people wouldn't relinquish their wish, but also at the same time, it was weird how he could take whatever he wanted once he gave you a wish. Yeah, well, I guess it makes sense because he was the dreams, the dream zone now, that he decides he could... what's most important. Yeah, what effects it takes, but also at the same time, it's it's kind of dumb. Yeah, I think I think we've okay. been avoiding the uh, most important thing, the what the worst thing. What? Cheetah. We haven't Who? talked about her at all. We haven't talked about Cheetah, Cheetah. at all. Oh, I forgot about her. was very bad. I, I thought that was terrible CGI. I know you liked the CGI. I liked I, I liked the her in her full form because I was actually scared of her. Let me tell you, man. Watching watching her and her like because like her her animal like and, and like the way she was like really agile and like full of fury, right? Like I'm not not I I wasn't thinking her her as like the actor because the actor's not scary at all, but. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of her as like, oh, cheetah, dude. Like, she, she would have torn one or one apart, you know? I like I actually like the kind of, uh, like, how Dornerman beat Cheetah. Like, she drowned her and electrified her. I If they had killed Cheetah, I would have been like, whoa. That's crazy. Because, like, I, th I thought they killed Cheetah there. I just... I would have been like, oh. Again, with the Dreamstone, that's not how they should have brought about Cheetah. I think Cheetah should have remained a character. You're right, right? Yeah, she one thing is this. She, she she asked to be like Wonder Woman, but then I guess she asked to, for another wish? Yeah, she relinquished her wish and then wished it again. I don't know if she relinquished her wish. I think she's wished again. No, she said, I, I give up my wish. I no longer want to be like her or whatever. And then, oh, yeah. Then kind like, of... I want to be an apex predator. Yeah. But, like, exactly. uh, explain to me how that's an apex predator. Mm, I don't know. A cheetah? I think. Well, yeah, cheetah but, is... like. Like, I, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. But, yeah, continue with what you were saying. Um, Her character in the beginning was good. I liked her in the beginning, but at the end, I. She just sort of changed into a terrible character. Yeah. 
know. Also, when she wished to be like Wonder Woman, or like not even like Wonder Woman, like Dinah, she she mm. all of a sudden became super popular. Which yeah, I I don't I don't know. Being the person I am, I was like, um. Wonder Woman's not the most powerful person within the DC universe right there, I don't think. Well, so I she doesn't up. know anything, right? So, Henry Cavill was the same age as, as he plays... Okay, if Superman was the same age as the actor who plays him, which he's 37 right now, and... Well, Superman was, crashed at some point. I just don't remember what point was in the 90s or 80s in this timeline. Okay, my thing is, if he's 37, 2020 minus 37 is 1983, and say he comes in when he's one, that's 1984. Well, no, so, I, I think he's definitely crash-landed on Earth by now, but I don't think he's, like, doing anything, though. But if she wanted to be the most powerful, she would have to be more powerful than Superman. But she Superman. said Apex Predator. No, but she's like, I want to be the most powerful person. Before she said that. And the most powerful person, even though he's like one, is Superman. As we know of right now. Yeah, I don't know. She... She's... she's... I, I don't know. The dream so was just a bad idea. Yeah, the plot was just not very consistent and not very good. Um, I was really disappointed because I really liked the first one. I liked the first one too. This makes me scared for uh, Patty Jenkins' uh, Rogue was it Rogue Squadron movie. Cause remember, I was telling you, Squadron. I was like, "Hey, I need to see this yeah, movie you... first." I, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit afraid. Uh, it makes me nervous as well. Um, I did like how they brought in Linda Carter. The original the Wonder Woman. Yeah. That was pretty cool. And like she, I forgot what her character's name was though. Mithra? Was it Mithra? I don't know. It's kind of like a... Well, like, is she gonna be like a character in the third Wonder Woman? Is that what that is, or... I don't know just if she's gonna be a third Wonder Woman. Yeah, I don't know. This this movie flopped big time. It really did. In sales. Which I feel so bad because a lot of the actors did a really good job. It was just the story writing. Yeah. I don't know. We, I mean, there's nothing you can really say to remedy it because if it is bad, bad plot, there's no way you can say it's a good movie. You know? Yeah, I just feel bad for the actors because they did a good job. It's just the plot was terrible. You know, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that happened in the movie that just kind of like you don't think about. But like, Chris Pine possessed someone else's body. And, yeah. and, and. I, you know, I, I just want to say... That was weird. But but also, Chris Pine and Wonder Woman... Uh, not Chris Pine, Chris Pine's character, you know, do the deed, right? So is that rape? That's just weird. I don't... I didn't even think about that. Is, is that... Is that what's... Is that... Is that... Also, that man disappears for like a week and then he comes back and the world's ending with all these wishes and crap. That man's life is like... Mm -hmm completely out of sorts because like it's been like a week right this man's been yeah. missing for a week i don't yeah, know that doesn't really make there, a there's lot a lot of, of plot holes and you know, a bad plot movie they probably should have done that a different way for sure yeah why wouldn't they just bring him back i don't know why they would make him possess someone else's body like like what even like what also, could he have made a wish then? Because remember that one point when they're at their they're fighting in the, in the White House, and then Pedro Pascal's like, "Do you want to make a wish? Want a wish to be a real boy?" 
kind of joke thing, right? Could yeah. he have made a wish? No, because he already made his wish. What is it? What was his wish? Oh, well, he could have. Never mind. No, he could have made a wish. But whose wish would it have been? I don't. I don't know. Um. I don't know. That was really weird. The body thing. I will say that. But um. One last thing I really did not get about the movie. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what type of like satire was supposed to say about or like what satire was used or about society back then or society today what point was trying to be made uh, the I 80s really sucks is basically what they did because the 80s looked like an awful time in the movie that's, that's... how was it trying to compare it to today because how is it trying to compare to today? Like, what what is there to I compare to? I don't know what the message was in that movie because, of course, in the beginning of the movie, she's riding her horse and cheats, and then they're like, "Well, well I mean, no, good to, ever comes from lies." That, that opening is scene it, didn't make any is sense. Not good? Is lying is the point of the movie? Lying is not good. I feel like there's more symbolism in the movie that's supposed to stand for something else, but I really don't know <sighs> what. It's just like I, I think. I don't, I think the movie was trying to do like a, oh, uh, yeah, I mean, truth is the most important thing because it's the only real thing we have. is not really a theme. Like, the opening yeah. scene didn't make any sense. Also, I didn't see that as cheating what she was doing. I mean, she should have known that she had to hit the thing, though, so I don't know why she was like... I mean, like, what, did the Amazonians want her to just give up since she fell off her horse and lost her bow? Is that what it is? You're supposed to just quit? Uh, is that the Amazonian way? I think she should have gone back and hit the thing, though. That was Yeah, I know. I, I mean, she should have done that, but, I mean, like, it wasn't like she was cheating, though. I mean, yeah, because you skipped one of the checkpoints. Yeah. Also, she was cheating the whole time, though, so... She was, let me tell you, man. Her small size is the only reason why she was ahead in the very beginning. Because she, oh, yeah. was, everyone was getting stuck behind stuff because they weren't like that small as her. So I mean, like she, like she was just cheating from the beginning because she shouldn't have been able to participate because of her size. Oh, the fight scene, the final fight scene was not good either. I just remember being very like anticlimactic. Oh yeah, it no, was it wasn't like, a good fight scene, but I liked her drowning in electrocuting cheetah much else to say about the movie to be honest yeah i'm kind of like it was just a bad movie you know it was just it's just a bad yeah. movie. i'm really disappointed but well nothing you can do about it yep yeah. well i mean yeah, i mean i guess that's it for for the review then did this uh, right. lower or, or increase your opinion? Do you want to change your rating? Um, no. I would keep it at a 5. Because a 5 is not good. But it's not like... I'll um, I'll keep mine as this. Excuse me, as a 6. Not, because the actors, most of the yeah. actors did a good job. So I can't... I mean, I can't the movie looked that. like beautiful also, though. I mean, like, what, like... Yeah, that's true. Everything was good, it's just the plot wasn't. X and Cheetah. So I feel like our generation really can't relate to the way it felt in the 80s, with, like, the whole Cold War and stuff, you know? Yeah, so I didn't think, we, we can't really relate. I didn't think that was a very wise time period to choose. Also, I don't know, was that supposed to be Reagan? I don't know. Or just like a random president standing, I guess. <sighs> Let me look that up. I think it's also interesting what they're trying to say about the president at that point in time. Like the man could ask for like world peace or something, but he's like, "We need more nukes. If we just yeah, had that more." Ronald that was Ronald Reagan, or it would have been within that time period. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess, guess that's that's it for the review, guys. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. 
anything uh, you want to say? Yeah, now I'm caught up on the fact that there's Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, dang, I don't know, because... Huh, okay. Well, like and subscribe. What was your opinion on the movie? Give it a rank out of 10, and if you guys want us to talk about anything else, comment it down below. Alright, we'll see you guys next time.